I'm on to movie number two. And it's one of those uh, Spike Lee movies where like 60% of the film is good and 40% of the film is like, this is why you need an editor. <laughs> um, Cause there's, so the, this was, um, he got game. Obviously I'm still doing Denzel Washington. I have uh, 15 films left plus the one that's coming out this year. So I'm getting there. Um, so the, this is a two and a half hour movie that probably could have had that half hour lobbed off and been a been fine. It's about a man who is in prison for um, accidentally murdering his wife. You can sort of find out how as the film progresses. Um, and the governor is letting him out for a week so that he can convince his son, who is the number one upcoming about to go to college basketball player in the nation, to go to his alma mater. This is ridiculous. And that's the point. Um, so Denzel's released, and he has to go talk to his son, played by uh, Ray Allen, who's a real basketball player and a pretty good actor. So the main theme sort of is an exploration of the commodification of basketball and the way uh, these kids are poached and um, tempted by both the uh, collegiate world and the NBA and all of the bling and like naked ladies and things that they're promised. And there's a, there's a lot of that mixed in. And uh, the father played by Denzel is really more about trying to remind the son like why he loves basketball and like how he got his name. His name is Jesus, but it's not from the Bible and you find out why and sort of, this idea of getting it back to the game, hence the, the title. And it's a phrase that comes out several times. Um, and that stuff is really good. The reconnection with the son is good. I particularly like Zelda Harris as his daughter. Um, all of that family stuff is, is great. And it has that wonderful panache that uh, Spike Lee has in all of his films that he's just a master of cam fluid camera movements, of... Um, sort of similar self-awareness um, to the artistry of film that Scorsese has, you know, where it's flashy and you know you're watching a film. Um, but he does it in a way that you don't mind that you know you're watching a film because it's so beautiful. Um, it also has an amazing score with um, half Aaron Copeland and half Public Enemy, which really works. Um, and I gotta say, before I'd seen this film, I know the Public Enemy song, He Got Game, really well, and I've listened to that song a lot. It's one of my, like, wake-up jams, so um, it's surprising that it took me so long to actually watch this movie. So the 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so that doesn't work and makes the movie longer than it needs to be is the side, sort of side subplot with um, Mila Jojovic as... I guess a prostitute who lives next to Denzel in the hotel that he's in while he's on this like work release to get his son to do this thing. Um, and it, it never feels necessary. It never, it never feels like um, exploitative or anything, but it also doesn't feel necessary to the plot. It doesn't feel necessary to the growth of the character or your understanding of the character. Um, like, I don't know if it was there because it's just, it's a plot idea that felt real for Staten Island. I'm not sure. But it just, it felt like an entire subplot that just, I was like, why do we need this? Um, it didn't really make any sense. It didn't make, it didn't improve the film. It didn't move the plot forward. And it didn't uh, really teach me much about the main character. So it was like, what, what the hell was the point of this? Um, otherwise, I thought it was a, a really interesting, uh, exploration of the themes and of family, and, um, I liked it. I just wish that, like, 40 minutes didn't exist. Um, there's also some interesting race things having to do with, um, when he's about to be released, the, the warden played by Ned Beatty, Beatty tells him that he's gonna have, um, two probation officers and one's white and one's black and so he'll get along with the black one and then that's really not what happens and um that probation officer is played by Jim Brown 
So it's always good when Jim Brown shows up in a movie. Um, he's great. So, you know, this oh, and when uh, Bill Nunn is in there as um, the uncle, probably the brother or something of the, or brother-in-law, I'm not sure, of the mother who um, is only seen in flashbacks. And he's good. So you sort of see how everybody is trying to get something from this kid's talent and from the commodification of his talent. And uh, he's really all about wanting to go and get an education because his mother was really about education and even the Denzel character is about education. Um, but Denzel is more like the education and for the love of the game. And so it's this kid trying to navigate all of these people, trying to get him to do, you know, play the, the um, capitalism game with his talent. And like pretty much the only people who aren't really doing that are his father kind of and his his sister um and Rosa, rosario dawson is in there she's quite good um very early performance from her so i rented this from videodrome before realizing that it's actually streaming on netflix right now so i mean yay i like supporting videodrome but um if i'd known it was on netflix i watched it on netflix it was not on netflix last year i think they must have added it in december or january because last time i checked it wasn't. But you can watch it on Netflix if you don't have a video rental store where you can rent it. So there you go. This was uh, Spike Lee's He Got Game. It's from 1998. Stars Denzel Washington. I would say it's not just for completists. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. Um, there's this opening sequence of all these different kinds of kids throughout like the country playing basketball and playing it for the love of playing basketball. And it's beautifully shot, and you can tell that Spike Lee loves playing basketball and watching basketball and the, the sport of basketball. And as someone who likes to shoot hoops, I am terrible at playing the game of basketball. I really enjoy shooting hoops, and once upon a time, I could make three-point shots. I'm tiny and I'm little, but once upon a time, I could make three-point shots. So um, someday, maybe... I'll have live somewhere near a basketball hoop and I can shoot hoops again. But I loved watching that because um, it's such a fun thing. Um, I've never been very good at playing the game with other people, but just shooting hoops or just one-on-one -on -one is so much fun. And you see that sort of established in that opening sort of montage. And then you see the, the, main, the character, the Ray Allen character, sort of having to keep remembering that joy. Um, and so it's, it's, it's fascinating. It has a lot to say. So, um, this was, again, this was Spike Lee's He Got Game. It's from 1998. And I think it's a pretty good film.